Food and life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on. Be a part of the notification. God. Hey. I always wanted to try this when I was young, guys, but my mom always never bought it from me. This always reminds me of uh, Tagele Nights as well, guys. Probably the best movie ever. <laughs> okay, my first time ever doing this, so I'm not even sure. Let's not read the instruction. There's four pouches, four bags, and I believe all you do is this, okay? Take this, blow your bag up. Kind of simple, guys. Who needs instructions, right? It's in the print, fine print or a shake and you bake it. Put the shake and bake in, put the seasoning in. Okay. Chicken going in, like so. I'm not sure how much you can fit in one. Let's go three. And shake it. Shake and bake, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. The shake and bake. Look at that. No eggs, no nothing. Just shake and bake. That's, that's beautiful. Kind of looks, eh. Looks like breadcrumbs, right? It looks like breadcrumbs. That's been coated. Right? Hopefully it's seasoned. Kind of looks weird. Never had fried chicken like this ever before. So, I'm super excited just to try it. Oh man. One pack of shake and bake covers around two, four, seven pieces. It's nice. It smells nice, I guess. I don't know. Kind of just smells like breadcrumbs. But who knows? Might be very tasty. Here. We got air fry here. I'm gonna blast this up to 50 minutes. And we're gonna toss this down. At 200. Okay. Growing up, I always had these two white friends and I was so fascinated by um, how they ate or how they had dinner or how they had supper. They always call it supper and I was so curious on what supper or dinner was. I was invited for supper one day and we had mashed potatoes and it was baked chicken. It wasn't shake and bake chicken, but it was baked chicken. We had gravy and we had some peas and I was so fascinated by it and I'm gonna make it just to bring back the old times, all right? So, we gotta bring back some of this. I know they used this. I know back in the day they used this, guys. I know what instant mash, oh! What does this instant mash taste like back in the day? So, instant mash. This is actually real potatoes. I didn't know there's real potatoes, but they just dry it out, I think. I seen it on uh, how it's made. We got this instant mash here. We're just gonna, or not mash, instant gravy. Oh man, I'm burning the instant mash. Okay, get some cream in there. Mix that in. We're gonna do some salt here. Some pepper. We're also gonna drop a little, oh shoot, Oh man. Drop a little butter, just a bit. some boiled peas and that's it guys chicken mashed potato gravy and boiled peas I think I lied to you guys I feel like 30 minutes at 200 degrees Fahrenheit is perfect enough for these beautiful shake and bake chicken looks delicious <laughs> okay I'm gonna let them cool out for about 10 minutes before I start setting you know what I'm very impressed by it's crispiness you hear it? It's crispy. So, should we do mash on this side? the day when I was young when I was fortunate enough to get invited to a Western family to have a dinner like this but they didn't use shake and bake they just grilled the chicken it was pretty good <laughs> let's try the shake first and bake. time ever trying shake and bake back in the day when I was young I always wanted to try it now I get to try it right so typical Western meal I say uh, I was fortunate enough like I said I was fortunate enough to get invited to a Western family dinner one time and I was very I don't know, impressed by it because I'm so used to just um, 
my family like eating rice fish and vegetables every day but seeing like a western spread like this kind of excited me for some reason and i want to say mrs huskell thank you <laughs> if you're watching thank you um yeah this is pretty much just, i actually still remember when the mom came out she pretty much was like this much chicken this much potatoes and this much peas and was feeding four people i remember to myself where she was like bringing it out she's like okay kids I was thinking to myself, like, oh man, I'm not gonna be full after this for sure. <laughs> but I was, I'm very grateful and very fortunate to be invited to it. So it was pretty much, it was like the setup like this. Like they gave me a very big plate. I'm just like replaying my childhood. They gave me a fork, or yeah, they gave me a fork, a knife, and they served me like this. Okay. I was just like, oh, I'm very grateful for this. They gave me peas. Like, back in the day, guys, I don't know, it's kind of like a culture shock to me. Because I'm not used to it. It was like this, okay? Let's do this. Don't waste this. <laughs> and they gave me the biggest one. And they gave me some gravy on the side, right here. Like so. And everybody had a drumstick. And there was like three left, like three extra left. And she was like... Or the mom was like, um, whoever's extra hungry can get the extra uh, drums. But I was kind of too shy to have it. But anyways, that's how it was, guys. I guess. Then I remember my friend telling me to <laughs> add some ketchup on the side. And I did, guys. And it was like this. That was the meal, guys. That was supper. Legit. That was supper. Oh, don't touch the... Oh, man. I don't want to touch the ketchup yet. Just because I want to try it on its own. Yes, this right here, guys. That's supper, and you get dessert after too. All right? You get one drumstick and dessert. Still remember the parents eating with a fork and knife, but I was just taking it up like this, guys. Shake and bake, quick talk. First time ever trying shake and bake. You guys got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. I'm actually very pumped for this. It's actually crunchy, guys. You hear it? I'm very surprised on how crunchy it is. Let's do this. Wow. It's crunchy. I'm very impressed. <laughs> I'm very impressed by this. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm actually very impressed. Oh. Mashed potato gravy. Mm-hmm. Good job. Let's go. Nice. Soup pump this. Mm hmm Peace. Legit, after I finished eating this back in the day, I acted like I was full. <laughs> I low key, like, oh, I'm stuffed. But deep down, I was very hungry. Alright, flavoring seasoning on this chicken. I want say, not the best fried chicken I ever had, but I can say this. Pretty darn good baked chicken. Yep. Ah, it's really tasty, guys. Legit, it is. Alright, I'm stuffed, guys. 
Not sure if I can do seconds after this. <laughs> I'm impressed. For a baked chicken to be this crispy, peep this. I'm impressed. No oil, no nothing. Just put it in, shake it and bake it. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. It's pretty crispy. Pretty good for big chicken. That's not bad, guys. Just thinking about it now. This is pretty much a typical serving. Or Canada typical serving for a family or for a kid, an adult. Like me personally, I usually eat for four people. Huh. But this right here is like a healthy serving for you, right? And that's all you need. But I kind of just want another one. <laughs> hmm? I can say this. I never had good baked chicken before. Well, I made good baked chicken before, but in a box and that fast, with no oil. I'm impressed shake and bake. No wonder Ricky Bobby enjoys this so much. <laughs> It all makes sense now. <laughs> Shake and bake, baby. <laughs> Alright, that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Peace out!